Okay, we are at the site called Palpa. This is where the Palpa geoglyphs are, part of the system of the Nazca system of lines and geoglyphs. And we get to climb all the way to the top of this tower in order to be able to observe them. So here they are over here. They're called the Paracas family. Unfortunately, this camera does not have a zoom. But if you have uh, a big TV screen you're watching it on, you can definitely see what they look like. So in this direction are the famous Nazca lines and geoglyphs. So they're approximately 1,600 geoglyphs in this area. Mine was the one on the left supposed to be. I can't make it out. Is that a bird? Yeah. There's a bird. Then there's a human being right next to it. A human being next to it on the right. Then this is the family here. The grandfather, children, and those were the parakas. So you. Okay, this is likely your first view of the brand new tower at Nazca, Peru, to see the world-famous Nazca Lines and Geoglyphs. This is my first time here, so the experience is going to be brand new for me as well. And we don't know exactly what we're going to be able to see, because the old tower, which is here, paid for by Dr. Maria Reiche, is no longer functional. So now we have this much bigger, sturdier version, much higher as well, that will allow us to survey more of the landscape. From the old perspective, this would be what's called the hand with four fingers. Then we have the tree of life. And then in behind that, one of the trapezoidal quote unquote runways. And here we can see a hand. higher up, the more we're going to see. A couple of hand shapes there, probably two of the feet of the lizard design, which was damaged during highway construction. May have been the modern highway, or it may even have been the ancient Inca road. It is the lizard. There you look. You can see more of the lizard going that way. Again, cut off 
in the middle by the highway. So here a much better view of the Tree of Life. And the Nazca Hand. And the Trapezoidal Runway and other lines that go off in the distance. So this is a much better perspective than in the past. So more detail of the lizard figure going this way. Again, the highway discombobulating it and then continuing on that way. And even better view of the Tree of Life. Runway, some major lines showing up, some minor lines showing up, and actually now you can see the hands of life. It's two of them. One of them has five fingers, one of them has four fingers. And interestingly and interestingly enough, Maria Reishi, who made this famous, had a finger missing. So there's a minor line showing up here. And the lizard again. Here you see the beginnings of the back legs of the lizard. And there's the tail. It's a strong tower, but it's actually moving. So, newly uncovered geoglyphs from the Paracas culture time period prior to the existence of the Nazca people. In between Nazca and Alpa in Peru. Oh, yeah. There's a little man, <clears throat> then an owl, then probably some reptilian like creatures, more little people. So, wandering around the desert of Palpa in Peru, which is in between Paracas and Nazca, about to see the rediscovery of ancient geogly geoglyphs made by the Paracas culture some 2,500 years ago. Can I tell about one head is wide and the other one is long? Mm -hmm. Very different. 
Very different. Even their class is very different. Segment blocks. Yeah. Pads. There's no pads. And no flattens. Uh huh. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, just like a hair. The other one's only got four. Yeah. Four what? Four fingers. On the left, left. Yeah. I don't think that's a hand. I think it's an animal. Maybe an animal. Yeah, that I always like to. Yeah. Yeah, something. Maybe a puma? What on yeah. the left? We have yeah. Have, uh, Brian's quadcopter out here to find yeah. out. Yes. No, it's a, that's a human hand. The, the very left one? Yeah. But it only no, it has, has four, four fingers. Four fingers. <clears throat> Just a bad artist.